I think it, uh, it is not strange that at a moment that China re-enters uh, the world's history and in a sh so such a short period of time um, shows a, what I would call an unprecedented socio-economic development mm -hmm. that is a global rebalancing of power. And I think we are now living a very important juncture, a very important moment in our uh, relations between US and China, the EU and China. Mm -hmm. And I think it's, uh, it's really key that the European Union um, tries to keep on its own positioning and not just be the junior partner of the US, but develop a known view. We, we share the Eurasian continent. We mm -hmm. live on the same Eurasian continent. Right. And so we should uh, try to continue to invest in mutual openness, fair trade, uh, um, a level playing field that mm -hmm. is fair to, to our companies, protection of investment and, and trade. Decoupling is not a solution. Uh, I think everybody should understand that the uh, all the nations in the world, they try to safeguard their vital interests. And in serving their citizens, they have to manage in the right way issues like the safety, security of their people, including the sovereignty and the territorial integrity. But on the other hand, that should not lead to protectionism. And so we, we should remain open to each other and invest in this, uh, in this uh, interaction. And so not decouple, 